on this lazy Sunday afternoon. Yorkshire Rose and Bulldog. I've needed to come out and report from a local hotel that has either taken the migrants in yesterday, late yesterday, through the night or this morning. It only was released two days ago that this hotel in New Miller Dam in Wakefield was taken in the undocumented migrant men. Now people who have followed me from a couple of years ago would know that we've been to this hotel before. Let's get on the other side up where I'm done. Oh, 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 no. Yeah, we reported from here, guys, a couple of years ago when the migrants were in. They left, they get a full refurbishment. And they're now in there again from today. Hi, guys. Thanks for your support. Please like and share this. We're at the Best Western Hotel St. Pierre, New Miller Dam. We're in a conservation area and the locals are not happy. One lady had an hairdressing salon in this hotel. She's been given two days notice. She had a contract with them. That contract's been broken. And we've got the migrant men in here. So here we go, guys. My contact this morning was actually a family member who lives in New Miller Dam. Said that this car park was full of them this morning. So my thoughts would have been that they have arrived this morning. Now I read a report yesterday. <laughs> I read a report yesterday that um, the council have known for six. Hiya! Hiya! Hi, yeah. We've heard that the council have known for six months that they are coming in the hotel. Uh, why are you asking them to come inside? Why is it so secretive, sir? There's nothing to Why is it so secretive, sir? It's not allowed. Yeah? Why is it so secretive? Yeah? Giving giving somebody two days' notice to say that she's lost her business here is absolutely disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. St. Pierre Hotel, New Miller Dam, Wakefield. It has already had one refurbishment, as you can see, because the migrants were in here a couple of years ago. And now the Best Western Group, who we know, are one of the big, biggest parts of this racket. I don't know what else to see what's going on. Nice coffee machine there, water machine. So no security badge on him, just an Ivy's. Let's go take a little walk around the back of the hotel. It's all public, publicly paid for. So we can have a walk around. Hi guys, hi The Rock. Hi local experimentalist. Hi Michael. Stone was laid by Olaf Olsen on May the 5th. Oh, I bet they should have back. <coughs> I wonder why it's all so secretive. We pay for it, but they don't want you to, to see what's going on. It all guys, isn't it? Just uh, New Miller Dam is just such a idyllic and stunning little area. Just down the bottom of the the road here, we've got the dam, which has a beautiful secluded walking area, which 
many people take their dogs, whether it be lone people or whether it be families. It's just so wrong, guys. So, so wrong. <clears throat> Yeah, I've actually been to Banbury. I think I've only been to one of the hotels, you know, the one where the, the one where the um, people that work there had the protest outside, that right beautiful one in the town centre. Look okay. at all been refurbished. And then again, it'll have to be refurbished again by the taxpayer. <clears throat> yeah, it's just such a beautiful area here. Yeah. Such a beautiful area. I've got reception guys because I couldn't get one last time. Hello. Hmm. Very nice. I won't mind a holiday in this hotel. Just a little break from home. Yeah, best oh, western nice again, guys. Here. Best western again, guys. New Willowdam, Whitefield. Hotel Saint Pierre. Taking the undocumented migrant men in for a second time in the last couple of years while a local lady had an hairdressing salon in this hotel and I believe she had a contract with them and they've just given her two days notice to leave the hotel. So unfair, it's so unfair. So many people struggling today. She got killed kids or something as well? Yeah, our country, just keep on um, spending taxpayers' money on these undocumented migrant men. If it was that bad in the countries, why haven't they got their mums, their children with them? One of them was Chinese, what's he running for? But I better go because he was just going on the phone so he was probably calling the police and we don't really want to waste the police's time, do we guys? So yeah, I'm not sure how many this hotel fits in. But I can confirm today that the migrants are in the hotel San Pierre. New Miller Dam, Wakefield, West Yorkshire. I wonder if that's someone else there that had, um, I bet that's someone else there that had, um, I wonder if that's that same girl, I thought she was an hairdresser, but I had a business within this hotel. So the local communities can have their businesses in this hotel but as soon as the migrants come it's bye bye to their jobs yeah. right guys i'm uh, i'm gonna go now but yeah thank you everyone that has tuned in please like and share this because our Prime Minister keeps telling us that he's going to stop the boats. He keeps telling us that they are not going into hotels and I can prove him wrong. Send him over to Yorkshire Rose's channel where I'm 
covering new migrant hotels on a weekly basis now. Thank you everyone, I really, really do appreciate your support. Oh wow, that is beautiful. Thank you so much Daisy, I really, really appreciate that. Like I've always said, I don't do this for money, I do it for the care of my country and how passionate I am about my country, its people and our children today. But that does help towards my fuel. Thank you very much. I will be back out again in the week with more migrant hotels to visit. I've also got people messaging me, asking me to go down to Skegness, to go down to Haydock in St Helens at the Ibis there. There is so many problems that are happening in these communities and these people that are messaging me, these people are old people. They're not far right, they're not racist. They're concerned about what's happening in their communities and yet they don't go to the police because if they go to the police they're classed as a racist this needs to change for someone that is worried and scared they are not a racist thanks guys i'll catch you again in the next couple of days good afternoon from yorkshire rose and bulldog oh somebody's coming